Hello, it's Rob here again from Academy of Inner Resonance, School of Subtle Energy Therapy, Crystal Healing and Inner Development. We're based in Scotland and from here we run the two-year diploma course, workshops, retreats such as the Astro Crystal ones, the Communicating with the Nature for Healing and many other things. So please do check out the website at www.inner-resonance.org. Today I would like to look at the beautiful crystal Botswana agate. I'll be doing the scientific first, then the historical, then the energetic properties, where to use it in the energy field and how to use it in daily life, the astrology, and then finally there's a bonus bit. Botswana agate, like other agates, is a member of the quartz family. It's silicon dioxide, SiO2, and also like other agates, it's a type of chalcedony quartz. This is where the quartz is composed of tiny microscopic crystals that can't be seen with the naked eye. On the Moss scale of hardness, it's a 6.5 to 7, and the inner structure of Botswana agate, like all quartz crystals, is trigonal. Agate crystals generally are crystals with concentric banding of different colours, and agates can come from anywhere in the world, whereas Botswana agate specifically only come from Botswana in southern Africa, and Botswana agate has bandings of greys, browns and white stripes and sometimes different shades of pink. Agates usually form in volcanic rocks, gas bubbles are created in the cooling lava and these spaces are then filled with silica rich liquids which then over a period of time harden. And the reason that you get the banded formation is because over time new layers of silica gel will seep into these cavities and build upon layers that have previously been formed before. This is a very slow process with the original volcanic activity which was responsible for these beautiful stones being formed taking place about 180 million years ago. Agates in general in history have been seen as protective and good luck stones in many civilizations such as in India, Nepal, Tibet. This may have occurred because the crystal can often resemble an eye and therefore may have been used to ward off the evil eye, which is the belief within many cultures that when somebody looks at somebody else with a malevolent look, that can cause harm upon that person. Botswana agate itself has been used traditionally in Africa in fertility ceremonies in order to encourage a good birth and a healthy child. Botswana agate is an excellent crystal to work with to help you to let go of old, outdated patterns or if there's a need for change in your life. This can include such things as addictions which we're having trouble breaking free from, any behaviours that we're stuck in that are basically stopping us from evolving. Any crystal with layers in it helps us to work on the layers within us, to bring them to the surface so we can heal them and release them. When I've worked with it, it feels to me like the crystal has like a searchlight going within, going beneath things, going deeply into the layers in ourselves, looking for the root cause. And I've had memories resurface, things that I'd forgotten about, connected to any stuck patterns. It has a lighter to medium grounding energy depending on the colours of the stone. If it's got more pink in it then it won't have the grounding element and will leave a slightly higher vibration. And it also has a clearing quality when placed on a lower chakra. Because of its denser and slower vibration I would only use Botswana agate at the feet for grounding and on the base chakra or the sacral chakra and lower down in the energy field generally. This would be an excellent crystal to work with if you're doing any sort of inner work or counselling to deal with old stuck patterns. Just dedicate the Botswana agate for your highest good and tune it to help release and heal any old outdated patterns. Astrologically, I would equate Botswana agate partly with the earth signs of Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo because it does have a grounding quality but I'd also link it with a couple of the water signs Pisces because Piscines can be very sensitive they may find it difficult to be here because they're more open to the collective and so all the pain I guess of being on planet earth and so they may seek to escape to lose themselves in addictive patterns of behavior because they don't want to face reality in that case Botswana agate could really help them the other sign I'd like to put it with very much is Scorpio because Scorpio is a sign of things being hidden things below the surface 
and out of all of the 12 signs it's the one that's least afraid of looking at what's hidden within ourselves that the rest of the sun signs might quiver to look into it's a sign about going to the depths and also about transformation so Botswana agate would allow a Scorpio type to go into those deeper layers within the self in order to heal and transform blue lace agate is another crystal with layers in it and both blue lace and Botswana agate do work very harmoniously together and the blue lace agate will add a calming energy to the mix you can also team up Botswana agate with snowy quartz and the snowy quartz would enhance the clearing qualities when working with these two crystals together I hope you enjoyed the video please let me know in the comments below please also do like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and do remember to turn on all notifications to make sure you're alerted when the next videos are published and if you want more details about training with our Scottish school, such as the Academy of Inner Resonance two-year crystal healing diploma course, or the crystal or astrology retreats and workshops, please do visit www.inner-resonance.org. See you soon.